We have the following note from the jury. We, the jury, feel that we cannot reach a unanimous decision. My plan is as follows. My plan is to send them home this evening, bring them back at 9.30. If they give me a similar note at that time, um, I'm going to then be forced to read the Allen charge. So I'm going to bring them in, send them home, and we'll let them deliberate a little bit tomorrow. And if I get a similar note, I have no choice. We did object, Judge, as to you I'm not going to make an inquiry tonight. We have to close the courtroom down in 30 minutes. We're 20 minutes past. There is no reason why I have to keep this jury here late. Um, I'm going to send them home with that instruction. If I get a similar note tomorrow, we all know what I have to do at that point. Okay, bring in the jury. the fourth case law okay, so and it will make that objection. All right, counsel may be seated. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have received your note. Here's how we're going to proceed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send you home for this evening. Uh, we are going to bring you back at 9.30 tomorrow. Um, if I receive, uh, after further deliberations, a similar note, I will have an instruction for you. But it's been a long day. I want to give you guys an opportunity to go home and rest and come back tomorrow fresh. Um, I'm going to give you some instructions you've heard before, before I bring you back. You cannot communicate with anyone concerning this case 
I'd remind you, you cannot, even, you cannot even communicate with each other outside of the jury room. So the only time you can actually discuss this case, even amongst yourself, is when you're all together. It's going to the parking lot, you know, it's just two of you. That means you can't speak about the case. You have to wait till everyone is in the jury room so that all discussions are heard at the same time. Um, as always, um, you cannot do any research with respect to this case, and you cannot listen to or read news accounts of the trial. What we're going to do tomorrow, I'm not going to make you wait on my docket because I can conduct my docket while you continue your deliberations. So when you get here tomorrow morning, you're going to assemble at the same place that you have been assembling. The deputy will immediately bring you back into the jury room to continue deliberations. Um, if you have a note for me or any need of communication, you just let us know. I'll have to clear the courtroom, so it might take a little time to do that, but then I'll address whatever uh, concerns you have or whatever you may send to us. Um, we're going to seal this uh, jury room tonight with the evidence and with your notes. All of that will be sealed in this jury room. No one will be in this room uh, tonight. So at this time, I'm going to send you home, uh, get a little rest. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 9.30. All right, counsel, you may be seated. Um, I need you guys here at 9.30, but I'm going to do my docket in the morning and let them go back there. They're not going to come into the courtroom. They're immediately going to go back into the jury room to continue deliberations. But I do need everyone here at 9.30 in case I have another note uh, or I have a verdict, whatever the case may be. So please be here on time. I just will not, um, I'm not going to bring them into the courtroom just to send them into the jury room. We're going to send them back into the jury room uh, once they get here. Uh, anything else we need to do this evening before we break? Yes, we can refer Ms. Trial Judge. The jury made clear that they cannot reach your name in this decision. Okay, that motion is denied at this time. Um, if we continue to have issues tomorrow, obviously I'll take that up uh, tomorrow. Um, anything further? Okay, anything further? Okay, thank you. 9.30, yes.